job, John. You guys are just in time to help us finish setting up. We got all the sodas and food you want. Cool. Just come on in. Hey, would you guys mind uh, sitting at the table in the foyer while we set up the bassinet that we got for the shower gift? No problem. Cool. Thank you. Be back in a second. Bye. Mm -hmm. If you would have told me a year ago I'd be helping to set up for my half-sister's baby shower, I would have said you were nuts. And I was so used to it being just dad and me. Now I got this big extended family with a niece or nephew on the way. And I'm so psyched about being an uncle. I can only imagine what you must feel being a father. Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry. Don't be. You know, it's, uh, you know, on the one hand, I'm, I'm really excited about being a father. I just wish that Charity was my baby's mother. You know, it doesn't mean I'm going to love him or her any less. <laughs> well, good for you, Miguel. Good for your baby. You know what? We should have a celebration for you being a father. We'll get Reese, your brothers. No, thanks. But no, thanks. I don't want to party. And the truth is, I didn't even want to come here tonight. Charity insisted. So, uh, you still angry at Kay? I'm not angry at her, you know. I'm just angry at the situation. And I never meant to sleep with Kay, much less get her pregnant. But I did, you know, and I'm going to take responsibility for it. You know, but I don't want to get Kay's hopes up into thinking that we're going to be a couple someday. I mean, I'll be responsible for her and the baby financially, and I'll be a hands-on father of my child, but that's where it ends. You know, I don't want Kay to ever think that we're going to get married because we're not. I love Charity, and I want to be with her, baby or no baby. What is it? What's so, wrong? Something's moving. It's under the blanket. Oh, my gosh. All right, everybody relax. I'll check it out. Be careful, John. Don't let it bite you. For us, okay? I won't. I won't. There's nothing here. No, it is there. It's under there. It's slithering like a snake. There's nothing here. Come see for yourself. I don't understand. It was here. Where could it have gone? I saw something under the covers. And it slithered like a snake. Charity, I'm, I'm really sorry it frightened you. Are you sure you're not just seeing things? No, it was real. Charity, is it possible that this was just another one of your premonitions? I hope not, Miguel, because if that's what it was, then it means that your baby with Kay is in some kind of danger. That evil's after it. Hey, guys! This. Simone, where are you? The door to Tabitha's basement. Uh oh. What's up with that? I don't know, but it can't be good. Let's check it out. Let's do it. Mm, I don't think that we should be snooping around her basement. Yeah, this happened the last time we stayed here. You know, when our house was sucked into hell by the demons? Tabitha told me never to go down there. Why not? She has these uh, exotic plants down there, and that's what that red light is, the grow light, and the steam's just coming from the watering system. Makes sense. My dad said he was on a photo shoot in Brazil once. He said he saw orchids so rare that they couldn't be disturbed in any way where they died. Well, I think <laughs> we should definitely just leave well enough alone. You know, I don't want to upset Tabitha. She's so sweet. I mean, she's a sweet old lady, but odd, you know? Yeah. Charity, are you cold? N no, no, I'm burning up, actually. Well, do you want me to turn down the thermostat? No. It won't do any good. I'm seeing flames. I'm seeing suffering and agony. Somebody save them. Please, somebody save them.